Okay, so on number four, you're going to use the fact that the interior angles, this one, this one, and this one, all add to 180. We just proved it. So you have to figure out what X is. X is 55, or is this one 55? Yeah, isn't this one 55? Yes, and then how do you end up getting X? 180 minus 55. So that went very fast. Did everyone hear what everybody did? So step number one was to get this angle, and that was because these three add to 180. And then once we get 55, we see that it's a straight line, and straight lines add to 180. That's a linear pair. Okay, can I give you all a shortcut on that one? That was a two-step problem. We did the yellow part and we did the orange part. Here's a, here's, um, a theorem for you. If you have, I wish I would have left you some room to, let's just redraw a picture. Just draw a little picture like that. If this is X and this is Y, sorry, super small. If this is X and this is Y, this angle here is X plus Y. You actually can do that in one step. And hopefully that registers in your head because did you all, was it 60 plus 65, 125? Yeah. So you could have gone straight from here, here, is that? That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's the shortcut. Oh, yeah. Then that makes sense because then you had to subtract from 180 and these you had to subtract from 180 to get that and then you have to subtract from 180 so you end up with the same thing. All right, let's go to number five. What are you going to solve for first? 32 plus 68 gives you 100. So these two add up to 100. That means, using the little shortcut I just showed you, that means this is 100 out here. Does that help us in this one? So that means X is 80, and that means Y is 80, because it is what? What's the word between X and Y? Vertical, vertical, vertical. Okay, let's do six. Um, number six, you can do a couple different ways. Don't I know that this one plus this one, doesn't it equal 140? Is that that little shortcut I just showed you? So what could we do? 140 <laughs> minus 90 <laughs> equals what? 140 minus 90 gives you 50. Okay, now if that doesn't make sense, Okay, if that doesn't make sense, then you get the other side of this first. Okay, so let's do that in two steps. To get the other side, what would you do to get that purple dot? 180 minus 140, which gives you 40. Now that I know that is 40, can I take 40 plus 90 and then subtract from 180? So this is still the unknown. I'm going to call that X. Huh? That one right there on the other side of 140. So 40 plus 90 plus X <laughs> equals 180. All right, everybody got X is 50? Okay, let's go on to number seven. Which triangle can you start with? You have to at least have two things. Hey, so which one are you going to start with? The triangle on the left or the triangle on the right? I wish, but doesn't it have two unknowns? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you can't get the V with the T missing. All right. so okay, so what do you do to get T? Uh, add. add 56 and 62. Jeez. Use your calculator, dear. That's why you have it. One, oh, 118. Okay, so these two add together to give you 118, and then you do... 180 minus 118. What do you all get for T? 62. Okay, what letter are you going to get after you get T? Alex, you want to tell us what letter can you now get? V, because V makes a 180 right here. So 180 minus 62 is 118. Isn't that that little theorem I told you is a little shortcut if you like it? Okay, there's the 118 again. And now, Kenyana, how about how to get W? What are you going to add up? Any idea? 
this triangle, see the pink one now? They all add up to what? 180. So I'm going to do 118 plus 25 and then subtract from 180. What'd you get, Sierra? Or nothing yet? 37 for a final answer. Okay, good. 143 and then 180 minus 143. Okay, that.